Before we get into the video, can we talk about something really important here, okay? It's that B armor. They knew exactly what they were doing. Whoever made that and whoever decided to put it in the trailer, they knew what they were doing. They wanted to ruin us. And it's so cool now. I can't stop thinking about it. It's definitely not coming, at least not in this update or the next update. Who knows when, if ever, we're getting that B armor. But you gotta admit, it's super cool. But welcome back stealth army to another minecraft video today we're gonna be talking about all three mobs and checking out all three trailers okay so let me know down below in the comment section your favorite mob so far which one do you plan on voting for i mean we still got two days so there's still plenty of time to figure out which mob is the perfect fit for minecraft i honestly love all three i'm not just saying that all three mobs are incredible they're cute, they offer something different and something unique. Ultimately, I just want all of them, right? I just want all three. Of course, we can't have all three. That's just how these votes work, but I love all of them. So share your thoughts down below, which mob deserves to be in the next major update and make sure you join the stealth army. If you're watching this and you haven't clicked that subscribe button, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Join the squad, I promise you. So much content is on the way. It's gonna be an absolute blast. I will be streaming Minecraft Live this weekend, okay? Saturday, be here, be on time. It's gonna be great. So with that said, you know the routine, you know the drill. Let's get straight into the video. We actually got a new trailer by Mojang called Minecraft Live 2021, vote for the next mob. So this actually has all three mobs in the trailer. So let's go ahead and take a look with Jens and Lady Agnes. How are we supposed to pick which one of our new friends joins Minecraft? It's not up to us. Our amazing community will vote for their favorite during Minecraft Live. Look, it's a glare. There must be a really dark spot nearby. I also get grumpy oh, when it's so dark. Cute. It's like Urgh. spot nearby. I Don't you think that's adorable? Yo, I feel like the glare doesn't get enough love. Let me know if you guys are voting for the glare, but so far I'm just not seeing enough people saying they're voting for the glare, but it's really cute. I like how it just sort of growls like spot nearby. I also get grumpy when it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. Did you really give an LA our last cookies? Yeah, but they brought back a collection of new ones. Is it Why are they doing this to us? Why add three really cute, adorable mobs all at once? They're really trying to make this difficult for us this year. It's going to be violence this Saturday. It's going to be violent. Hopefully not. I'm just joking. But seriously, I love all three of them. And I like how you can still see the glare. You can see the eyes in the bushes. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> and of course, the LA just being super cute, twisting and flying around. Ah, oh, man, I'm still hoping for more colors, though, like a red LA, a green LA, a black one. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I said black like that, but yeah, I just love the LA. Isn't copper amazing? It can be used to build anything from mobs to buttons. Gee, I wonder who built this copper golem. Ah, <laughs> uh, even the copper golem super cute. I like how it walks you know what i'm saying like <laughs> it's so tiny too it's like super cute i like how it has like a lightning rod on its head as well and it could possibly tie in with archaeology so i believe that was confirmed by the homie oraf as well a lot going on in this trailer we get to see all three mobs i love them dearly but sadly we can only have one who gets your vote the glare that finds dark spots? The LA that collects items? Or the copper golem that you build yourself? Tune into Minecraft Live on October 16th to decide which mob will join Minecraft. Ah, oh, they all look so happy. They're all so happy. Oh man, we deserve all three, man. And we deserve a Lady Agnes, a Jens, and a Vu. NPC in the game as well. Why are they doing this to us? Why do they want us divided? There's something more to this. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check out the glare trailer. Yo, I'm just now realizing Lady Agnes, she, <laughs> she's on her head. Yo, who did that? Why are you gonna hurt Lady Agnes like that? I'm just now realizing it. Not even the first second. <laughs> this is, oh man, I gotta screenshot this, man. I gotta. <laughs> 
Oh, poor Lady Agnes. She had such a rough journey. Oy. Hello? <gasps> you're so cute. That bee armor, guys. I know you're probably getting tired of me talking about it. But you guys gotta admit, like, the bee armor is probably one of the coolest armor ideas out there. And then maybe you can, like, fly around only for, like, 5 to 10 seconds. And then you have to refuel the armor with honeycombs. Mmm, too bad. Cute! Are you lost too? I don't like the darkness either. Like, when she said that, I was like, oh, Lady Agnes, we got you, okay? It's all right. It's gonna be all right, okay? It's too dark in here. You must be the glare, the mob that lets players know when they are in an area that is dark enough for monsters. The glare flies to dark areas for you. When it gets grumpy, you will know that it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. You can also bring it with you and proves once and for all that you can- I feel like one of the reasons why this mob isn't getting a lot of love or attention is because of the Java community. I'm sorry to call you guys out, but you guys are making it really obvious here that you don't like this mob. That's all I'm saying, all right? Don't, don't, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just repeating what you guys have been saying which is that you already have ways to detect darkness. You got the F3, like, I get it, but the Bedrock community, we don't have anything like that, so you gotta see both angles. It's unfortunate, but at the same time, we can only have one mob, so you definitely gotta vote for something you truly care about. Once and for all, that you can be grumpy and cute at the same time. Will Tiny Agnes ever find Tiny Jens? Who's Lair? Here's an interesting question. Where would you find the glare? How would you be able to acquire the glare mob? Would it be underground in the lush caves? Would it be near azalea trees? Like, share your thoughts down below. But let's go ahead and check out the next trailer. Tiny Agnes, where are you? She landed on her head, bro. Like, go help her out, Jens. She's on her head right now. <laughs> Poor Lady Agnes. Hello, fellow music fan. You're my only friend now that Tiny Agnes is gone. Here, take my last cookie. You Yo, their friendship is so pure. And guys, the Alay is adorable. One of the reasons this is so difficult is because all of the mobs are super cute. But the Alay, something about the Alay, it's adorable. You just want to squeeze it. You want to hug it. But that's clearly subjective. I already know we're going to get some people in here like the LA is the ugliest mob I've ever seen before. <laughs> people are very passionate about this mob vote. Like I've seen people go crazy on Twitter for their mobs. And for me, I'm like, bro, this isn't the Squid Games. Like no matter which mob comes to Minecraft, it's a major upgrade compared to last year. But I get it when you like something when you're really passionate about something, you want it to be in the game. All I'm saying is, we gotta look at the bigger picture. These mobs are pretty good. At least that's how I feel about it. Typical. You must be the LA. Thanks for collecting all these cookies for me. Would you do that with any item I give you? Hooray, no more collecting for me. And you dance too? Amazing. If you give the LA isn't going to go duplicate items for you. It's not going to break any blocks. It's not going to mine. It's simply going to collect items that you've already collected before, which is still very helpful. And then it's going to drop them near the jukebox. So I think that's still really cool. I know it's not the craziest thing ever, but it's still really nice to have a partner, have a new pet that's going to help you in some shape or form. When I lay an item, it will collect matching ones for you. It also loves music. So if there's a note block nearby, that's where it will drop them. Tiny Jens? Will Tiny Jens ever drop an album? Was that Tiny Agnes's voice? Do you want the LA to join Minecraft? Tune in to Minecraft Live on October 16th to cast your vote and change my- I don't know guys, I feel like it's coming down to either the LA or the Copper Golem. I might be wrong here, I might be 100% wrong, but so far, these seem like the two most popular mobs on Twitter. I've seen a lot of people do different polls from different creators. And so far, these two mobs are pretty close in popularity. 
So things might change though. I mean, someone might pull a dream. Dream might pull a dream this weekend. But so far, it's looking like it's gonna be between the Copper Golem and the LA. But let's go ahead and check out the final trailer. And you already know which one that is. Tiny Yens, I'm down here. Where are we? I don't know. But I gotta admit, like the Copper Golem is a really cool concept. And not only that, like my copper golem people, you guys are super loud. You guys are like the Isolager gang. Like all I'm seeing is copper golem. Like say it louder, copper golem. You guys are so passionate. Like even compared to my LA people, you guys are like chill. Like, oh, the LA is cool. Like I like the LA. My copper golem people in all caps, copper golem vote copper golem. This year is crazy. It's intense. I see people are super passionate about their mobs. All I'm saying is the Copper Golem squad really wants this in the game. So let me know if you're part of the Copper Golem squad. But look at this lovely copper. Is that a Copper Golem? Yes. It must be old or a time they freeze into statues. Let's build our own Copper Golem. Maybe it can help us. This one has a lot of life in it. I like how it just presses buttons like... <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh, Mojang, why are you doing this to us? Why are you dividing us? We're saved! The Copper Golem is a mob that you, the player, can build yourself. It oxidizes over time and loves to randomly press copper buttons. So, they would be added to the game as well. Will they- Yep, so we're getting those copper buttons as well if you vote for the Copper Golem. And that's also a lightning rod on its head. So that was confirmed, it is a lightning rod. And that's one of the ways you can unfreeze the Copper Golem. You can also use an axe to scrape away the oxidation. So there is a way to unfreeze the Copper Golem, which I think is really interesting. But let me know down below which mob is your favorite. It's also okay to be undecided. Maybe you're still trying to figure it out. I think that's perfectly okay. And what do you look forward to seeing during Minecraft Live? Which is this Saturday, I will be streaming the entire event, guys. And it's gonna be so much fun. So click that notification bell sign if you are a part of the squad. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care. Peace.